because here we have like uh, this uh, happy Bob, which want to um, which want to see uh, medical record and to to see if it's like healthy or not. And then, but of course, he doesn't want to reveal the ACG. Um, record to hospital and the hospital doesn't want to reveal the model because it's like an asset to a hospital. <clears throat> okay, so the challenges here is that some of this information about the CG trees are public, like the number of the inf inputs in the feature vector or the number of decision nodes and also the depth of the decision tree. But uh, we want to we want to, to do it in a private manner. We don't want to the the hospital, for example, here to to know which feature is compared at which uh, or the, the the user doesn't want to know which feature is compared to the to the to the threshold, and also uh, the user shouldn't know the 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 comparison result. And uh, at the end. We also want to keep the, the tree topology uh, as a secret. So we basically have two different uh, variants of secure multi-party computation way to achieve this, uh, this private evaluation. One is basically on the homomorphic encryption. Uh, we use additive homomorphic encryption in this uh, paper. And um, basically you have the options to do some sort of uh, uh, special operation on ciphertext to have like the, for example here, to, to have a ciphertext which uh, translate to x plus y, uh, encryption of x plus y, and also you have like this um, special operation here dot, which uh, is translate to multiplication of a non-constant uh, value. Uh, there's lots of uh, uh, crypto system, homomorphic encryption crypto systems uh, in the wild. Uh, but uh, for this purpose, uh, there are two uh, most, uh, there are two, 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 um, two variants that have been used uh, before. One is based on, basically on, on the Pylior and Dijica, uh, which is kind of the encryption is as slow, but the decryption is very efficient. Also, recently, in the recent papers, they use elliptic algomal, which is um, more efficient in terms of encryption because it uses elliptic curves. But um, the decryption, the, the caveat is that uh, the decryption uh, only works when the plain text uh, space is so small. And then you have also the Yao garbled circuit, the classical way of doing the two-party secure two-party computation, uh, which basically the parties um, put the inputs into a Secure function evaluation, and then uh, one of the parties or, or both of the parties actually could uh, get the result of this function. And uh, of course, um, there has been a lot of uh, work on, on the all garbled circuit, and um, um, there is lots of ways to, to make it secure against a malicious client. So, uh, our contribution is uh, threefold. We first uh, try looked at an end-to-end -end, uh, uh, evaluation uh, of the decision tree, and then try to slice it into phases, and then systematically study those phases to see what are the, the protocols that could be uh, used for evaluating uh, those uh, phases in a private manner. And during this uh, uh, study, systematic studies, we came with new protocol. It surfaced new protocols, which kind of like work as a hybrid protocols. And um, we will see that it's kind of, um, they are already promising candidates for, for um, special uh, applications when you have, well, when you can like um, split the application into an online offline phases. And of course, we did a lot of uh, evalu evaluation on this, uh, uh, protocols and uh, there have been, been uh, in, a, in the paper there are lots of uh, trade-offs um, uh, that you can just uh, go and check and uh, at the end I will just uh, give you a, a kind of recommendations uh, for these protocols. So let's uh, start with the systemization of existing techniques. Uh, let's uh, start with homomorphic encryption. No, let's start with the phases first, sorry. Um, so 
if I look at the end-to-end uh, -end, uh, evaluation of decision trees, we basically identify, identify three phases. The first phase is, the, of, of course, selection, which uh, you choose the features uh, that should be uh, compared in decision nodes in order. And then, by doing that, you, you come to the second phase, which is like oblivious comparison. So you do the comparison of the threshold and the features uh, in oblivious fashion. And uh, you get a result. And then, based on the result, you want to uh, evaluate the path from the root to the classification node and just um, receive the, the result of the classification. So uh, for these phases, we can instantiate protocols based on the Yaw garbage circuit or homomorphic encryption. Uh, for the selection, we can use uh, a selection based on the selection on the homomorphic encryption or the or Yaw garbage, but uh, for the compare, for comparing homomorphic in encryption uh, way, uh, we have this selection just encapsulated in inside the, the compare. Uh, phase. So basically that means that we don't have like the selection by garbled circuit and then the compare by homomorphic encryption because it doesn't, uh, it's, it's not really a reasonable choice because you have basically selection homomorphic in this combination as a free component. And of course in the end we have those, those two uh, flavors of uh, oblivious path ev evaluation in your garbled and uh, garbled circuit and also homomorphic encryption. Okay. So <coughs> I'm going to, because this is like a systematic uh, a, a review, a study of the lots of papers, I won't uh, go into detail. I'm just touching an abstract level uh, for the sake of time. So we have in the oblivious selection uh, based on homomorphic encryption, Bob sends encrypted inputs to hospital. And the way that uh, it works, this selection is that uh, the hospital just um, blinds these inputs by adding a random uh, value to it. And then uh, send it back to Bob, and then Bob retrieves uh, these values by decryption. So at the end of this uh, phase, parties have like this additive secret sharing of the result. And then in the oblivious selection uh, and comparison, uh, of course, Bob sends the encryption of each bits of the features to hospital, and the hospital just um, do a linear function, uh, computing a linear function on the inputs, uh, which just which um, this encryption would just um, decrypt to zero if the the comparison uh, is true. And then uh, hospital blinds this result bit and then uh, send this bit to, to Bob. Bob can just decrypt this value and set his share bit accordingly. At the end of this output, we have this also this XOR of the comparison uh, in, a, in a secret uh, sharing manner. Okay, so let's go to the third phase. So basically, we want to do an uh, oblivious uh, path evaluation. So this Bob sends uh, uh, his uh, shared from the last previous, uh, um, from the previous uh, phase, and send it to to hospital. Hospital uh, do a lot of magic <laughs> here, basically, and then uh, assign uh, an edge cost to each uh, edge, and. And the way that this, this, this uh, phase works is that the only uh, classification uh, uh, node that corresponds to the, to, the, uh, to the input of the bob would have a an, uh, an cost of zero. And all of the other costs would be a random value. So the, one, the bobs know which uh, node is actually the node of, uh, that is the nodes of the uh, corresponding uh, result. To his, to his inputs. So this is, uh, we instantiate this with algorithm encryption using elliptic curves to being very efficient. Now let's go to the garbled circuit. Uh, the selection in garbled circuit would be uh, with, uh, with a selection uh, network. 
which could be implemented in a Boolean circuit. So the way this works is that uh, Bob inputs his input and the hospital just put a map uh, of, the, of the features to the decision nodes. Uh, uh, and then uh, at the end, uh, Bob receives uh, all the selected uh, features. And then, of course, we have the comparison with the garbled circuit, uh, which is normal, again, Boolean circuit. But for comparison, you put uh, X and Y into the comparison uh, uh, circuit, and then you just uh, receive the, the output of the comparison in a shared, in X or shared uh, way. And then we have also the third phase, which is does, again obvious path evaluation in the garbage circuit manner. And the way it's work is that uh, hospitals select a random value for each uh, node. And basically, uh, we have two, two, two types of uh, keys, uh, which is one is for the key and one for each, each edge. And the way that it, the, the whole protocol for garbled, for, the, for the optimist path evaluation works is that we send this garbled decision tree to the user, and the user use the keys that it uh, it uh, uh, obtains from the, the from the previous uh, phase, from the comparison phase, to the garbled the tree. But uh, but but uh, we should uh, I should note I should. Uh, mentioned that the only one of these uh, 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 leaf nodes would be uh, decrypted to a, to a plain text value. So, uh, and that's the that's a node that actually corresponds to, to Bob's input. So we, if you look at the uh, all the uh, protocols that have been proposed, we uh, had um, this is like a very uh, long. Uh, track of research, we have started with garbling techniques in from 2009, from 2009, and then uh, we, in the recent years, it has been uh, shifted to the homomorphic encryption, but we, uh, when we just uh, studied uh, in, a, in a systematic way, we uh, kind of uh, uh, could, uh, he, could uh, introduce some hybrid uh, solutions, which uh, are on the, on the right side, and then they basically, uh, uh, combine garbled uh, selection and garbled uh, comparison with the homomorphic encryption uh, way of uh, doing the oblivious path and oblivious uh, path evaluation, and they are kind of compared. There are very promising protocols when we want to do uh, the application in online offline uh, manner. So. The evaluation part, I would just do it quickly because I'm running low in time. So we did a lot of uh, uh, evaluation on real uh, world uh, databases. So you can see that uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, we have databases with just a few uh, number of inputs like, um, like the iris and also huge databases like, like Boston which uh, includes uh, uh, tens of uh, hundreds of the uh, number of decision nodes. So, so if, you, uh, if I wanted to give a quick, uh, uh, give a quick uh, overview of the, our, uh, our, our findings is that basically the homomorphic uh, uh, the, 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 the protocol by Tai et al, which work basically on, on uh, completely homomorphic encryption, has the, uh, the lowest communication, but you see that it's, uh, the runtime is still uh, quite uh, medium. But the protocols that we introduced, uh, which combines the garbled circuit and homomorphic encryption, already shows a better uh, online runtime and also. Um, a good uh, total runtime. In terms of communication, the homomorphic encryptions uh, or the work of Thai et al. Is, 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 is the most efficient one, but see that uh, still you can, uh, if, for example, if you look at this uh, edge -edge, uh protocol, it just comes uh, a bit short on the, when, it's, when you compare it with the, the Thai et al. work, but we gain a lot of uh, runtime improvement. 
So this, uh, uh, these pictures, I wouldn't go into details because it's already like a cha cha chaotic uh, uh, pictures. The, w the motivation just uh, here is that uh, to get you interested that we did a lot of uh, uh, evaluation and already there was lots of uh, discussion about the trades off, trades off between these protocols. And uh, if you're interested, you can just go and check the, the, the paper. So the takeaways from the, this uh, would be that, okay, just 30 seconds more. So the takeaways would be that uh, still the GGG, the, 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 the protocol that basically works on complete uh, garbling technique has the, on, has the lowest online writing time, but the communication is, is a bit uh, challenging. But if you use like a protocol like, like GGH, um, you kind of, um, have a good runtime and also a good, uh, a good uh, communication. And also, uh, the, the, G, the GGH would be a good uh, trade-off between HHH and GGH, especially if the application could be separated into two phases of online and offline phases. And with, with that, I'm happy to take your questions. So the next session is uh, at 5 o'clock, and uh, there's a coffee break outside. Okay. <laughs>